Hi, Kyro Star here, friend of the neighborhood aliens, friend of the third rock from the sun, and playing Dragon Age 2. That's what I'm doing right now. And here's my hawk. As you can see, he's an elf because I'm using a mod to make Elfie Hawk. Because I like elves, and we're Team Gay Elf, so yeah. Today, we're going to go into the deep roads again. Because there's a quest that's going to require me to go in the deep road. I just got to get the quest. So, downstairs. And let's see what Isabella wants. Hi, Isabella. Sup. You know what's weird? I see so many mods on, you know, like mod sites that, that, that are like trying to pretty her up. And all they're doing is making her white. And blonde. And it's like, I think she's pretty as she is. I like your face. Oh. Fine. There. You got a pat. Now will you leave me be? No, he wants more pats. Try to sniff my crotch and I swear I'll stab you. Oh, show me. Strange. I figured you for a dog lover. I don't dislike dogs. I just don't like having my leg humped. At least, not without dinner and a drink. And now I've forgotten what I came here for. Blast. You silly dog. Good dog. I make enchantments. He makes enchantments. Let's talk about him. Ah, born Lord Remy of Haskell in 863, blessed. The Black Fox was a dashing thief and rogue. He went on to inspire so many tales of his exploits that it is nearly impossible to determine today which are true and which are merely fabricated legend. Despite coming from nobility, he has become something of a hero to the common people. His initial exploits involved ridiculing the tyrannical and powerful Lord of Val Chavon. Wearing a mask, he would appear in public and disrupt the Lord's plans to the point that the Lord angrily put a huge bounty on the life of this cunning fox. The origin of the nickname would suck. That the primary bounty hunter who took the job, Corollas, ended up becoming Remy's lifelong partner in crime, only after nearly killing him several times, is one of the most popular tales told in taverns today. The story is often exaggerated to make Remy appear initially buffoonous until Carolus becomes so fierce at the Black Fox's inexcusable ability to survive that the cunning Remy gains the upper hand, which impresses Carolus so much that the bounty hunter joins him. Uh-huh. They were lovers. After years of terrorizing the Lord's men and foiling his tax collectors, a favorite pastime of Remy's, according to the Orlesian commoners, Remy was supposedly betrayed by his lover, Savannah de Montfort. In some version, the tale of, of the tale of the Mage of the Circle, no less, and captured. After more than, uh, than a year of torture, Remy was rescued by, from prison by his compatriots, including the rep repentant Savannah, and together they escaped Olay. In this period of Remy's adventures, he appears most everywhere in Thetis. As his legend grew, more innkeepers and merchants were happy to claim the Black Fox had visited their village or establishment and performed some legendary feat. If the tales are to be believed, Remy led the Lord's men on a merry chase. He became embroiled in political intrigue in Navarra, hunted by the crows of Antifa, and kidnapped by a powerful maiden to enter. In each situation, Remy escaped death at the last moment, foiled the evildoer, and improved life for the poor and downtrodden. Then, inevitably, he rejoined his band of adventurers and moved on to the next land. His companions, Carolus and Servana, the wise dwarf Bolek, and the tempestuous knight Sir Clematis, each have spawned their own individual legends over the years. The stories all agree that, at some point, the Black Fox disappeared. He and his fellow adventurers voyaged into the heart of the Alatan Forest, 
seeking the sunken city of the elves and never returned. Many more are the tales that expand on what ultimately happened to them in the forest and postulate on how they could someday be rescued. From the Adventures of Black Fox by Gaston Geralt, 9-11, Dragon. Sounds like Robin Hood. I wonder if he's going to be in the next game. Okay, on to it. Get the quest. So I'm going to take Varric. I think we'll take Meryl. There's a couple of quests that I really don't want to do. One, because it's going to lead to, like, towards the end of the, the act, and I don't want to finish the act just yet. And another that it's just a hard one. Emotionally hard one. You know, if you need advice on how to lay low, I can give you some. Being short would make for an excellent start, I suspect. Keep that up, Sarah, and you can keep on hiding like a rank amateur. What would you suggest, Varric? Cower in the shadows like a rat? You could try wearing something that didn't scream, I hate you all, I was a slave. The markings would still show. Really? Through anything? <laughs> That's kind of cool. At least they're getting along. Okay, I'm not going to be as try to be as uh, sus today, so don't worry about that. Hi, buddy. You, this is your fault. It is? That looks more like an elf. Not, not a fault. Uh, I don't even know who you are. Yevon, member in good standing of the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Makes sense, but I don't know who you are. I don't talk to the... To, I, I, I don't talk to Dwarven Merchants Guild. You'll have to be more specific. A lot of things are my fault. Including Fenris' broken my heart. are lost in the deep roads because of stories about you. Your sodding glory and treasure. Don't you dare blame him. We both know this was I was doing. If you want to keep your job, shut your mouth, woman. Your boys are grown men. It was their own decision. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go with this one. I have to. Your boys don't sound bright enough to follow a map. I'm sure they didn't get too far. Oh. My boys aren't stupid. Foolhardy, maybe, but not stupid. You're the only one who knows where they went. They were following the path of your expedition. Please help me find them. Don't let my boys die down there. Okay. Your sons made an expedition into the deep roads. Did anyone go with them? They went alone, the fools. Just my three boys against every dark spawn in the deep roads. I won as Yevon's middle son. The whole thing was his idea. Emrys and Marin were just following his lead. The greedy bastard didn't want to hire anyone else if it meant he had to share the spoils. Sounds familiar. I thought coming to the surface meant I would never have to face losing my sons to the dark spawn. Okay, tell me about Milk Kid. Sounds like you're none too fond of Iwan, Dira. How do we know her name? He's been such a greedy thing, even as a boy. I know her. Stop talking about my son like that. He thinks he'll get rich quick off this expedition. He talked that fool Emrys and poor Marin into going. Okay, tell me about Emrys. Tell me about Emrys. Oh, guess that line. Oldest, but Iwan's been bossing him around since he learned to talk. Man's near 30 and has no backbone whatsoever. His mother's death hit him hard, but he shouldn't be looking to his brothers for guidance. And Marin? What about the other one? Marin. Marin's a dear, sweet lad. Raised him myself since the day his mom died. He's the one who liked the stories best. He wanted to be a hero, though, not just rich. He craved adventure. Adventure will get a dwarf killed. That boy needs to settle down and learn a trade. Play it safe. Oh, okay. I guess I'll do this. Sure. I'll look. How many Darkspawn could have come back in three years anyway? All of them. Thank you, Masser. Those boys are... All the Darkspawn came back. entered the deep roads using the same passage you did. Please find them. I will see you rewarded for your efforts. 
Hops. That's the one I'm doing. That's it. Oh, actually, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to the gallows. I'm going to drop Meryl off there. I mean, I know that's mean, but I'm going to drop Meryl off there. City. Three years and you're practically a ghost. I prefer it that way. Healthy attitude there. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Not a ghost, a wraith. I think that statue over there is a statement on modern life. Possibly the statement is, well, shit. You're looking well. My store is much better stocked thanks to you. If you're interested in hunting down more ingredients, I can make other creations. And of course, I'll pay you for your work. Sure. Sure. Just let me know what you need. I'm going to be out there anyways. I have a list of ingredients right here. Okay, what's this quest in Herbalist Tasks? Uh, I got Tattoo Ink. Uh, that one's gonna be harder, and that one. Okay. So, it's not so bad here. are you sure? This place looks pretty oppressive. I'll talk to you later, Emmerich. Colin. Hawk, the new scion of the Amel family. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Anyway, what can I do for you? I was wondering if you could tell me how my sister was, but no. I was just leaving. Make a watch over you. I, w I, w I was I was gonna uh, see see if you could tell me how my sister's doing. Okay, off to the coast. My favorite place in the world. Emissaries? No, okay, good. I'm a barry. Okay, good. I thought you were broken for a second there, Crypto. In real crypto's fine, he's sleeping. So what do you do in that gigantic house all day? Dance, of course. Really? I run from room to room, choreographing routines. <laughs> You're actually joking. Alert the chantry. 
They need to put this on the calendar. And you thought I was always serious. You are. Seriously, sexy. What? Huh? Are you one of Yevon's sons? Master Hawk? Please help me. My brother, Marin. I one locked him in with the dark spawn. He sealed the door, left me here and bolted for that passage. He's gone mad. All he cares about is that damned sword. Sword? Last time I was here, we picked this place clean. What's your brother looking for? I one called it the Heart Drinker. He says it's the masterwork of an ancient smith from this Taig. He bought a book from one of the Orzammar caravans. It had the location of the sword. Or at least to the golems who guard it. Why does it sound so familiar? Another greedy dwarf. You think he took lessons from Batran? Maybe. But greed is hardly exclusive to dwarves. Maybe I should have seen this coming. Iwan has been obsessed with that thing. He wouldn't tell us about the sword, but I never imagined he'd leave us to rot. This is getting just a little too familiar, isn't it? Yeah. Please. I don't want my brother to be eaten by those monsters. I'll see what I can do. Get back to the surface. Looks like I have a date with the Darkspawn. He's on the other side of that wall. You need to find a way to reach him. Please, come tell my father as soon as you have news. Okay. So basically, if I go through that door, Stone, I thought I was done for. Wait, you, you're Master Hawk. Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. I, you. I, I can't believe I'm not butter. Would be like this, that the dark spawn would just be everywhere. I've heard the stories, but it's not the same as actually being down here. Hey, just get out of here, man. Next time, leave the dark spawn stomping to the people with the big swords. Sound good? Or maybe I should get a bigger sword. Yeah, that would work too. I knew Iwan was up to something. He got so evasive every time I asked about the blighted sword. I still can't believe he betrayed us. You think he's alive? From what I've heard, he's just as nasty as the Darkspawn. Maybe they'll crown him their new king. He wasn't always like this. Yes, he was. You know, I never realized what the dwarves in Orzammar are up against. They fight these monsters every day of their lives. I don't think I can sit by and let my people die while I enjoy the easy life of a merchant. Good for you. Come find us when you return. I'm sure Father will want to thank you for saving me. Oh, well, the only way you might uh, you you are going to defeat the Dark Spawn is you, you might have to die. In the Legion of the Dead.
by become you know by by dying so you can join the legion. Cause that's that's the way that works. You're basically declared dead, then you join the Legion. Okay, let's go find the other idiot. Well, he didn't make it. So Iwan is dead. That's what he gets for his treachery. And that must be the Gollum control rod. Perhaps the creatures it controls are further down this path. Possibly. a great creature. Do you suppose it resents that? No, I know Shale did. Duleth Gar! You're not part of my team, okay? So get it straight. You're cool. I like you. You're my new best friend. Got it? Got it, okay. Now that we're clear, let's go. Let's go kill some things. Like... Okay. There we go. There we go. Good call. Now, where you going? I want... No, come with me. You're my friend. I, I want to make you my new Dwarven party member. Come on. Be like Shale. Be my new Dwarven friend. Stop. Stop where you're going. Stop. Stop. It's not, it's not getting out of my way. Uh, I guess I don't have a golem anymore. How tragic.
Fenris and Crypto have this one. I knew they had that one. like the darkspawn smashed the chest maybe there's still something to salvage in this map hey go got a lyrium lace build tube done there we go Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, not yet. Like I said, I'm trying to avoid the harder ones. Ah, yeah, connection seems more stable today. I wonder what's going on yesterday. A dealish elf here? And Arana Pishan's sister. Oh my. Avert your eyes. You said I was dwelling on useless history. But what are you doing? The past is important to you and to all of us. We must know it to move forward. You had a life. You had a family. And you abandoned them to chase after ghosts. We are nothing alike. Don't even begin to think that we are. Yeah. I brought back your good sense. I won. He's not with you. I had hoped. Uh, two or three ain't bad. I told you it would be too late. He tried to kill Marin and Emrys, and you're sad he didn't make it? His betrayal isn't lost on me, Dira. But he'll always be my son. You've given me back two of my boys, Masser. I'm in And that ain't bad. Please take this as thanks. Okay. Next. What do I got left? Okay, I'll do the Underground Railroad, I guess. Actually, yeah, I gotta go to Dark Town, anyways. Make that save number go up.
Here you go, Whiskey Master. This fell into my hands. Recognize it. And who is that? Just a walk and drop? Amazing. Well, it wasn't just a walk, you know, simple walk and drop. Hey, Bran. Hey, Anders. I brought you something. It's shiny and subversive. I thought you'd like it. You got me a gift. I hardly think I've done anything to deserve that. Is it a... That's a Tavinta Chantry amulet. Do you want me to get executed? Yes. It's nope. sacrilege to wear those in any land under the divine. Here, I thought you fight for mages' rights. Whoever's bad side that puts you on. I like it. Maybe not on the outside of my clothes. I'm not that eager to face the hangman's noose. But I appreciate the thought. I've never really thought about what life would be like in the Tavinta Chantry. In the circle, they make it sound like the void itself. The black divine stalking Thedas, making it unsafe for kittens and virgins. Eh, that's just... Oh, no! Too many of either in Kirkwall. Especially not with Isabella around. And fewer every day, I suspect. And me. I appreciate the gift. Perhaps one day I can return one as meaningful. I come down here anyways to get rid of that. Okay, what do we got? Uh, I'm not going to mark that one as the active quest. I'm gonna do that quest. I don't want to, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the. Off to the gallows. I don't want to do it, but... So I hear you've been visiting the Viscount's gardens, Daisy. Oh, they're enormous. And they're always empty. Why don't more people go to see them? Probably because they're private and surrounded by guards. I thought all those men looked a bit cross. Hey, bud. The guard captain says you're still chasing disappearing acts. That's not funny. I need... I've spent... I believe I finally have a suspect. Um, Meredith forbade me from continuing my... We should help him. Oh boy, I need to... Um... Change my group. Cause I want to have Aveline with me here. I want Aveline with me. Visiting the Viscount's gardens, Daisy. Oh, they're enormous. And they're always empty. Why don't more people go to see them? Probably because they're private and surrounded by guards. I thought all those men looked a bit cross. Okay. I'm gonna go back to Dark Town for a second. I'm gonna need to um do things there. Totally. No. Slap your head in a low beam. 
Is there a point to this line of questioning? I was wondering why you're so cross all the time. I think he jabs himself with those spikes personally. Perhaps it's the inane prodding. Well, you can prod me anytime, baby. Huh? What? Actually, you know what? No. There we go. There. Now I'll be able to have the right party with me. I'm gonna I'm not gonna have a mage on this one. I hope this wasn't presumptuous, but I added your husband's name to the memorial wall in the chantry. Wesley, but you never knew him. He was a Templar. He refused to abandon the people of Ferelden to the blight. He died too young. The Grand Cleric will read his name during the Chant of Remembrance. Thank you. That is... very kind. He walks with the Maker. But it is no shame for those left behind to mourn. <laughs> hey, bud. Hello, Emmerich. The Guard Captain says you're still chasing disappearing acts. She's right there. That's not funny. I need your help urgently. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Lynette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gaspard Dupuy. So... Is this man in hiding? Am I to find him for you? No, I know where Dupuy is. I just can't get to him. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from I say this, my yes. investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. So I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I'm sorry, Emmerich, but that's the truth of it. Okay, anybody else looking into this? Are you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard, well... They rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. And you do? Fine, if you insist. Yeah, tell me about this. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuy? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. Or it could be. It cannot be a coincidence. It sounds exactly like a coincidence. Gascard Dupuy is hiding something. I'm convinced of it. <sighs> and I'm supposed to be the outside help. My hands are tied. I can't do this on my own. What if one of the women who died was someone you loved? If Gascard Dupuy is guilty, he must be stopped before he kills again. Then we will investigate Dupuy, if only to put this to rest. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. At least I'll know for sure. And why me? Why is it always Hawk to the rescue? I can't really answer that. 
You'll need to go to Cascade Dupuis estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. Well, I guess this is what I'm doing with my afternoon. No, that looks kind of like a prison to me. <sighs> okay, we'll go to Fenris's mansion first. I, I don't want to get uh, Evelyn involved with this. Probably want a mage with me. Oh, your neighbor, Fenris. Can we go home and sneak my dog in here? Okay, boy, take a poop on the rug. Well, there's a thank you note. I'm going to just mute myself for a second here. Sorry about that. Guess card. Thank you kindly for your last shipment. It arrived in almost perfect condition. The requested payment is on its way. Please use the artifact with care. The creatures can be difficult to control even for an experienced mage. A pleasure doing business with you. A friend. Looks like Gascard's been busy. Yeah. Hiding his loot. My house could be like this. Take all his stuff. No offense, dude. But I'm taking all your stuff.
A reply from Starkhaven. Monsieur Dupuy. This is in regards to your inquiry into the missing mages. I would like to remind you that the duty of seeking out missing mages, if there were any to begin with, would fall to the Templars of Starkhaven, not a minor nobleman from Kirkwall. I would also like to take this opportunity to remind you that the Circle of Magi, as a whole, does not welcome casual inquiries about the mages in its care. Thank you, First Chanter Raddick. See if there's any other notes or anything I could be. Nope. Okay, so this way. And at least there's no girls being dipped in gold. Nicer than the last mansion I was uh in. Someone's been naughty. Very naughty. Isn't that your speciality, uh, Isabella? Monsieur de Puy, please accept my humble apologies for recent events. The Templar, Emmerich, has been reprimanded for his wrongful accusations and arousing suspicions within the city guard that led to the raid on your estate. I will see that he is restrained in the future. Sincerely yours, Knight Commander Meredith. I know Meredith is greasy, but still. Why is he keeping these things around? I thought Gascard lived alone. I knew a man who dressed up in his wife's clothing. He had so much fun with it. Good for him. Expressing his true self. You're not... you're not him. No. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. Uh-huh. So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. 20 silver if he says, it wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alester was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <sighs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. Uh-huh. It's uh, blood magic. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Uh, yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. Not good. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. Well, that looks like my sister is away from me, so... Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. 
But I was trying to find a killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. You know. You really did make yourself a target though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. So, guards. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Besides, they probably wouldn't even hear me out. <sighs> okay, tell me what you know. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. Okay. Just get out of here. Time for you to vanish. Every man for himself. I'm headed to Darktown. If you learn anything new about the killer, find me there. I have a score to settle with him. That one's gonna end up dead, probably. Ooh, loot. Okay. Well, he didn't say it was the one-armed man, so I don't have to give 20 silver to get Beric. That's good. I can barely afford it. I mean, honestly. I only have 31 silver. He'll drain me pretty much dry of all my silver. I mean, I got plenty of gold, but... It's not the same as having silver. Silver's pretty. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go home. Meet you at the bar before we head after him. Because I'm gonna need a drink after this, too, I think. Hey, babe. Good to see you again, Miss Bell. Mistress Amel just returned not long ago herself, I believe. Okay. It's very shiny. Yes, that's what silver is. Very shiny. I'll talk to you in a second. I'm going to go put stuff in chest. Maybe. Okay. An elven slave? Make us breath, I hope you know what you're doing. Hey, Fenris. A fascinating breed. Such intelligence and strength. Do you ever wonder what he thinks about? Sometimes. I'm not always sure I want to know. Are you aware that this breed originated in Tevinter? The Magisters bred them. It said the Mabari defected during the Imperium's invasion of Ferelden. Good boys. It's really a tale, but I rather like the idea they found the barbarians more palatable than the mages. <coughs> exactly so. Let's hope your hound doesn't take after his ancestors too strongly, hmm? Hey, I'm not a mage. And I think he likes me. I think he likes me. Okay, just checking, making nothing's. This place isn't like home at all. Minrathus was so noisy. Okay.
Gonna meet everybody uh, down at the Hanged Man. I don't have Aline breaking and entering into a house. She's a guard. So I'm just gonna... Don't mind the drunks. They're friendly as they look. And they don't bite. Any news? What's the word on the street? Liam, the Arbor Master, was in the Raiders' pockets. And he seemed like such an honest man. Grumpy, but honest. Well, that's it for now. Thanks. I should go. Any time. And some booze. There we go. Now my head's clear. I'll take uh, Anders. I have tried to avoid the fade since justice. It's disturbing when he takes over. Okay, actually. Off to the gallows. Off to the gallows. You, Varric, have a very large mouth. And here I've always looked up to you. What is it now? There were fist fights in the barracks over who was the model for your guard cereal. Hard in high town. Riveting stuff. Everyone loves a dirty guard on the edge. Varric. Fine. I'll start his big finish. Three chapters until Don and Brennikovic retires and opens a tavern on the coast. I sure hope he makes it. He's getting too old for this shit. Emmerich. I gotta talk to Moira. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. But he's right there. But he's right there. Did I tell him that? I must have completely forgotten. Don't you remember sending this message? I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. Nope. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. He's right there. He 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 he's right. I can't click on him. I wish I knew which mod bugged that out. Actually, you know what? Not there. Okay. Well, what does what does the note say? Low town, huh? Probably at night. Ah. Uh. Emmerich's getting too old for this shit. I'm gonna need some help. Oh, that's not good.
Hey, come back here. How many demons are this per is this person summoning? I wish you could help. Some mage sent that thing here to kill him. Why would anyone? Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gaspard Dupuis. Did he do this? I don't think so. Gascard was only a small piece of the puzzle. I think he's innocent. <sighs> he should have believed Emmerich. I thought he was just trying for one last shot at glory. Whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that Meredith will want found. I will see to it personally. My guardsmen will find Alessa, the woman who was with Gascard. She might still be in danger. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. Okay. Well, there's a desire demon down here. Cool. Ah. Okay. I'm going to loot everything. I'll be back in one of these alleys again. I know it. I'm just gonna see if there's anything else to loot. I'm going to head into Darktown for a sec, just to be on the safe side. Wow, it's only been an hour? Wow. You're glaring, Anders. Is there a reason, or is it one of your moods? Your term as captain hasn't been particularly mage-friendly. I've only turned a handful over to the Templars. Every despot starts somewhere. After pursuing another dead end, we were attacked by Maleficarum. I fear V will not make it. The fences must have tipped them off. Are they cultists trying to protect the answer? Are they after themselves? Or is it a random attack? The mages of Kirkwall have a more troubled history than those of other circles. A greater percentage of them do not survive the harrowing, and a greater percentage turn to blood magic. Almost double that of Starkhaven or Ostwick. Is there a secret fraternity delving into the winter secrets of the city? Either way, we must be more careful as we become the band of one. Or none. And yet I allow an abomination to whine at me. Credit where it's due. Hey, Tom Wise. Let's see if Gascard Dupuy is anywhere around Dark Town.
been neglecting my patients lately. I should spend more time here. You will. Soon. Okay. Well, next. I'm going to place Meryl and um, Penn. Let Anders take care of his patients. Look at all these elves. Hey. Team Elf. Oh, hello. You are Hawk, a patrol went missing along the wounded coast. The Arashan says you have some semblance of honor. So tell me, did you kill them? No. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I believe you. If you are not responsible, I waste my time here. Okay. Well, I gotta go to the Wounded Coast. Uh, I'll go talk to the air shack too, I guess. I got a blank to Canari. You always know what they want. Absolutely nothing. Hey, bud. Hey, man. You were allowed back in. You'll be already shocked if that's otherwise. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Hi. How you doing? Me, I'm doing pretty good. My favorite canary, right there. Airshock. Hawk. Hello. Yes. Last we met, I did not know your name. Did not care to. You have changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have not. I offer a courtesy, Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. You will want to hunt him. Excuse me, but this sounds like quite the feat. It was allowed. The stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity, perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious? Or would he assume success and make enough to threaten the district? A courtesy hawk. You will want to hunt him. Okay. So anybody see it? It took Javaris long enough to come up with this. Are you sure it was him? Others have asked for the Gatlock, but only he chose to delude himself beyond no. Is three years so long to a hateful fool? I have no way of understanding such weakness. His crime seems obvious. Further evidence could be the deaths of many. I wouldn't wait. Any idea where he could be? Any idea where we can find Javaris? I heard about a sell-off. Merchant territories and such. They don't do that unless someone left in a hurry. I'd have figured he'd root some noble. He's sure not a burglar. Just tell me where he is. I haven't kept up on the squirt. Ask the Coterie. On a hate on Hawk. It will be interesting to see if you die. 
Well then, let's go. Crazy dwarf. Oh yeah, it's that one. I don't want to do that one right now. Back to Dark Town. Oh, silly idiot dwarves. How do they even survive? Their brains must be their legs. Their tiny, tiny legs. You're selling the assets of Javaris Tintop? We are. Limited district, limited contracts. Keeps territory clear and separate from the start. He had a meager lot, but he skipped with dues outstanding. So up it goes. Any idea where I find him? Sounds like he's made a few friends. Can one of them point me his way? Ask that about anyone else I'd have you thrown out. This one, he owes me too. Javaris left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cup if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Tell him I said, don't come back. Not the trail I'd expect from a master thief. Just saying. No, you're probably right. He's definitely not a master thief. I'm not subjecting my dog to Dark Town. Unless I have to. Oh, great, Carta. Well, at least it's not giant spiders. Quite a few car thugs. After this, I'm going to do uh, level ups and upgrades, I think. Nothing. 
Fenris heard something. I have eyes in the back of my head. When I get to my boyfriend, you gotta go through me, man. Well, I did fall. Quite hard, actually. I wanna go back to this previous area, though, and uh, loot. Make sure I get every loot. I want all the loot. Need loot. Because I need the money. I'm gonna have to buy stuff. I'm, I'm, I need money to buy stuff. That should do it. Oh, just Merc. Hopefully that's it on the card of thugs. Oh yeah, that's why you give me two daggers instead of a staff. Much better with daggers than a staff.
If we take that the wrong way, that's my fault. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh yes, off into the wilderness. Oh, I'm on my third. Fourth. That any way to greet an old friend? You? Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know what? Go ahead. Take my head and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need to rest. Uh, elf? Uh, thought you talked for Ganari. What in blazes are you talking about? Wait, you don't know? Then, what? You're tracking for the Ganari? Then she did it. That elf got them after me for nothing. Bitch barn. Nah. I knew he was no burglar. We're not climbers. Look, I'm minding business, same old. Then out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. Says she's got the Kunari powder and I'm her cover. I slipped her, hired some bodyguards, and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. So where's the elf? So far, all I see is you. Leaving the other person behind is the first step in running away. Sorry if that's good, inconvenient. Good, good point. Wanna drag Ark into light? I had a man follow her. The elf's in low town. I just want to get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. Sounds like you have a long way to go. Hopefully. Right. Got me a rosy future to plan out. Think I'll start by selling some boots. Sodding bunch of take a long breath on a short shaft, you blasted dog lord in rotors. I can't just kill him right now. Ah, uh, he'll probably end up somewhere bad. Like Orlay. Ugh. Stinking punsy cheese mongers. That was all my loot. Oh, stinking punsy cheese mongers. Somehow I bet this was all the Arlesians' fault. Well, while I'm out in the wilderness, gotta get back to Kirkwall anyways. Maybe I'll find that lost patrol. Oh, 
won't kill you. But your face might crack if you smile, so be careful. Yeah, I didn't crack one of that. <clears throat> More raiders. I think they died screaming. That I would die screaming. See if there's anything to loot. Okay, let's see if we can find this missing patrol. I think it's over. If I go down there, I'm going down there with Guard Captain Aveline. Off to the alley. Where bad stuff could be happening. All of you, I can't fight the damned air. You want to live, stay out. Yes, stay out. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait. Messer Hawk. Maker, please, the street is death. There was a cloud that drove people mad, and now a seeping mist that kills. All I can do is warn people. If someone like you dies on my watch, I am right stuffed. Yeah, good luck keeping me away from this. Well, hold your breath. But, shit. Okay.
Okay. This should do the trick on those barrels. Okay, next barrel. Ah, oh, so many mercenaries, so little time. Yeah, don't run away when I'm trying to stab you in the back. Bodies. Ooh, it's even brandy. And it's properly aged. I, I'm still going to loot. Ah. 
I know I'm staying around in gas, looting bodies. Yes, so do you. You are a much better target. Uh-huh. So, care to explain your particular brand of crazy? Canari take my people. My siblings forget their culture, then go to the Kune for purpose. We're losing them twice. So I get some help from your people. We'll take the Canari Thunder, make some accidents, and make them hate it. But this... This is all wrong! Which of my people put you up the theft? It can still work. They're hidden in your city. They'll enrage the faithful and make sure the Canari are blamed. Me, I'm finished. I just need a few more bodies. A few more. She's insane. There she is. Shock how he was right and wrong. Yeah, I hope he doesn't take it too badly. And now it's just the regular follower of this area. Guardsman. <sighs> yeah, they're going to need some help. Okay, time to go back to the docks. That's stuff I want to do, but... I hate this quest line. Not because it's bad, really written or anything. It's a great quest line. It's just like, ugh. Elven lunatics. Hey, Canari. I found your patrol. They won't be coming back. You have stolen my duty, Basra. We were supplied for this task, but you have done this instead. Take what was meant for us. I'm a main man. Enter if you must. He's my main man. Hello. So, I 
was wrong about our thief. You'll get used to it. They say we were careless with our trap, that this is our fault. But even without the Sarkamek, there would have been death. That's true. This elf was determined to lay blame at our feet. But your feet didn't do anything wrong, did they? Selfishness, want, denial. How do you allow this to continue? Uh. If you dislike Kirkwall so much, why haven't you left? Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave, but how can you bear to stay in this chaos? <sighs> Honestly? My welcome to the city was not so different from yours. And yet you suffer it. It's an opportunity to make a real difference. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. Could you, could not this entire city benefit from that certainty? How else will you know when you have made a real difference? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be, as do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. How much I was respect. Your kind may force our role to change if the Kuhn demands. Now the real question. Why aren't you more concerned about her supporters? Our enemies strike from shadow because they cannot stand before us. This is not a revelation. It's Patrice. And it doesn't matter. I am not here to fight. I am here to satisfy a demand you cannot understand. It's taking long enough. It will take as long as needed. No ship is coming. There is no rescue from duty to the Kuhn. I am stuck here. You could have built a ship by now, you know. It is not about a ship. Filth stole from us. Not now, not the Sarkamek. Years ago. A simple act of greed has bound me. We are all denied Parvalin until I alone recover what was lost under my command. That is why this elf and her shadows are unimportant. That is why I do not simply walk from this pustule of a city. Fixing your mess is not the demand of the Kuhn, and you should all be grateful! Nah, I'll beat you, I'll beat you eventually. It's getting emotional. Thank you, human, for your service. Leave. That's an oxman ready to charge. The Viscount should know. Oh, yeah. Can I just lock the doors and throw away the key? Oh, time for some hard parts of the quest. Okay, I'm gonna go home. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home. Okay, nobody's here to see the dog this time. Good to see you again, sir. A letter arrived for you. It's on the desk. That's where I'll put messages which come while you're out. 
Thank you. Your house is pretty. Glad you like it. I hope all is well, master. Don't call me that. Should we take this outside and see if it floats? Okay. Get rid of all this stuff. And read my mail. Okay, cargo theft. You're welcome, Matcha. Okay. I'm gonna take some uh, reputable Members of society. I was going to sell my junk, then I'm going to go talk to the Viscount. Then once we get this part of the quest done, I'm going to check everybody's equipment and make sure everybody's got good stuff. Even Sebastian. Even Sebastian. Get to know that. There. Yeah, I'm not talking to him yet. Probably makes sense all Brian a little happier if I bring in like the Captain of the Guard and stuff. And a Chantry brother. Makes me look better. Good day to you, sir. Good day. Good day. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. An accident on purpose, more or less. Right. A mad elf pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. Yeah, it makes sense. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishon. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. What doesn't annoy him? You could send him gold and he'd complain it was heavy. And it's about to get worse. A shame. There were overtures of civility. Uh, your influence, no doubt. Do I want to hear what happened? A Konari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil. 
tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision, but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. Oh, wonderful. What do you imagine will be the Arishok's reaction? Oh, I'll find out. Get out in front of this and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Speak with Seneschal Brown. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. I don't know who would benefit from fighting the Konari, but it will cost all of us. Oh, yes. I'll talk, I'll talk to you later, Seneschal. See it, Anders. Oh, so many new quests. Okay, time to take some weapons. <clears throat> the only thing I am not taking are going to be shields. You know, really, all I need are the ones that are, um, or specific people plus helmets. All this. Okay, time to level everybody up. I'm just going to Fenris' mansion. Ugh. Ugh. 
Okay. Go. One more, but I don't see it. Okay, oh, I should do weapons too. Some runes on that one. I gotta do weapons. There we go. Ooh, even better. There's Isabella's and something better for Fenris. I know I have something.
Hmm. This is the boring part. There's your armor. I'll give you some items or some accessories next. Uh, this is the boring part. That's good. It's very shiny. An elven skin. Ah, oh, throw all the stuff back in there now. So many, and I can't just stash out everything. Just going to clear this part out. Okay, first things first. Make sure everybody's got everything. Oh, looks like puppies are awake. I'll take care of them soon. Open 
why. Huh? What's this? When he rises, everyone will see. By the ancestors, what's gotten into you, my boy? Enchantment? That's more like it. Uh... Sandal, you okay, buddy? And there we go. Everybody's leveled up. I want to talk to everybody now, so... Fenris doesn't have anything to say, but I'm still going to talk to him. And then we'll... Okay, they're going back to sleep. Crypto wasn't whining, so we should be good. He usually lets me know when he's going to go potty. So everybody gets talked to right now. And then we'll work on quests. that I can only trust to you. Okay. Oh, this should be good. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donnick here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. Donnick, the one we pulled from an ambush. The event that put me here, but this is a different need of the guard and its captain. And you're doing very badly at the no questions part. Fine, I guess I'll do it. If that's all you need, I'll walk the hundred feet to him. Thank you. And please hurry back with his reaction. I appreciate this, Hawk. I really do. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this with a party. Just for comments. How much longer do I have to wait? Farrick needs to be here for this. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Guardsman. Guardsman Donnick. Sir Hawk. It's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. No ill effects from the ambush, I trust. They got me pretty good, I'll admit. But they fared worse, so I can't complain. Guard is a good career if you're careful. A short one if you're not. And the captain makes sure we're careful. Here we go. I have it on good authority that you are going to enjoy this. Am I now? It's mm. a copper relief of marigolds? Uh, and it helpfully says so. 
Marigolds. Well, how crafty. Is there a meaning to this that I should know? Uh, it's gotta be something. Just keep it. I'm sure it's more than it seems. It would have to be. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do. Of varying import. Sarah Hawk. Is there some reason Avalings can make us look like idiots? <sighs> it's different here as captain. Feels like family. You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. So, how did Donick react? To your garbage, you mean? I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper ages well, flowers are soft. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. Don't talk to him again. Okay. Just take this, the patrols for next week. Post it to the roster and just listen. Really? Just walk over there and post the roster. I want his honest reaction without the captain present. You could just have him hauled off. This isn't about an accusation I can put in a report and explain. I need someone unofficial. Okay. Right. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. <sighs> Too many hits to the head. Still not enough. Have you been greasing to get high town? What? You're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. You have got to. Aveline Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. You wanted his reaction. All right. I can fix this. I need I need 3 goats and a sheaf of wheat. You'll take them to his mother. It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. Hold a moment. You're sweet on the boy. So help me, whore. I will break you. Oh, this is glorious. All this flailing is her idea of courtship. Aveline, you know you can talk to me. What am I to say? That a grown woman can't speak her mind. I've been focused on being captain for so long. That's all I know. I'm confused. Wasn't Lady Manhand married already? She will break you. A long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. I can drag him in here right now. Just say the word. Oh, and how would that look? The captain ordering her guardsmen to... to it wouldn't help. So go out. Get him drunk. Shame is a great equalizer. What? Just go out somewhere. Like it's that easy. What? Too simple. Tell Donick. Invite him to the hanged man. Or you could do it yourself. Make something up. It's a surprise or just you or a group. Anything to get him there. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Or you could talk to him. You could talk to him. I mean, that could work. Just just talk to him. <sighs> Walk in the hundred feet. Guardsman. Your captain's nuts. for an evening I have no immediate patrols why it's nothing to be concerned about meet me at the hanged man 
Very well, Sir Arhawk. I guess I'll see you there. <sighs> Did he just... No. Yes. Uh, done it. Hello, Hawk. Another time? I'm a little busy. Uh, I'm going to go talk to other people. Hope the day is treating you well, sir. Good luck getting in. I think we're all set. I'm just here to talk to people. Okay, you want everybody to go back to the hangman. I remain at your side. Okay, Lethaline. But but <clears throat> uh Sebastian. Grandfather is smiling at me, seeing me holding his bow. That's good for you. Seeing if anybody else needs to talk. So I really don't want to do too many more quests. Other than the embarrassing ones, I guess. Show you. Come and see. It's not a naked friend or tied up to the. Oh. It's, it's not a naked. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh. Something seems off about your mirror. Shouldn't it reflect the room? No. It's not that sort of mirror. I've spent the last three years restoring this. Two of my clan stumbled across it in a ruin. We never found Tamlin. Amario came back, poisoned by the Alluvion. Sick just from being near it. What's an Alluvion? Long ago, the Elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an Alluvion. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire. But I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arthur. This is a piece of our history. Did your clan member recover? The Keeper treated him, but she said it was the blight. The corruption. A Grey Warden took him away. He said the Wardens had the means to cure him. It must have been true. The Keeper said that he fought the Archdemon himself. What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I wanted to find out what happened to my friends. Maybe I could still help them. I suppose the great hero of Ferelden doesn't need my help now. Anyway, I know I can use it to help my people recover what we've lost. This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a keeper's place to remember, even the dangerous things. We argued. I left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. In a bit crypto. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or I'll try to. With blood magic. Oh yeah, that's gonna help. That's that's totally gonna help. Oh yeah, blood magic's great. 
I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. An Aulin home, and my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. And you need my help. You're afraid to face Keeper Marathari again. Exactly. You have no idea the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? Okay. With you. Master Arnus, I'll find some way to repay you. I promise. <sighs> okay. Who else needs to talk, needs to be talked to? Anders. Whoops. Give my eye in the puppies. I'm taking the trucker to his clinic. You noticed how many tranquil are in the gallows courtyard lately. Uh, I'll try not to. Don't tell me I'm just sensitive to it. I've been watching, and every day there are new tranquil selling their bloody wares. Good mages, too. People I know pass their harrowing. So, are you imagining some sinister plot to turn all the mages in Kirkwall tranquil? I'm not imagining it. The Templars are using the right of tranquility to silence those who speak against them. They're working on a deliberate plan to turn every mage in Kirkwall within the next three years. Whatever you think of Templars, you can't imagine they're so heartless. They're worse. There are groups in Kirkwall who help those fleeing the circle. I've talked to people on the inside. The plan is the work of a Templar named Sir Ulrich. I've had a run in with him myself. He's the one who did the ritual on Karl. Nasty piece of work. Likes to make mages beg. A run in? What happened between you and Sir Ulrich? I've been involved with an underground resistance. Mages living free in Kirkwall who help others escape. I can't tell you any more, for your sake and theirs. You have too much involvement with the guard and nobility. Okay, Dr. Suffice Franklin. To say, I've been in the gallows. I've seen his work firsthand. What else do you know about Sir Ulrich? The Knight Commander is at least sincere in her convictions. However misguided, she believes she's helping people. Sir Ulrich's a sadist. Cold-blooded as a lizard. Hey! He likes to experiment I'm cold-blooded. Find out what it takes to I need a sun lamp. The arms of demons. Hell. Don't Templars have anything better to do than come up with new ways to torment mages? No. My friends in the Mage Underground know a way inside. A secret entrance under the walls of the gallows. Come with me tonight, please. Help me find the evidence of Sir Ulrich's tranquil solution. What do you mean, tranquil solution? That's what he calls it. His idea of a peaceful solution to the Mage problem. To sunder the mind of every Mage in the Free Marches. Well, that would do it. I'm told he's bringing his proposal to Val Royo, To the Divine herself. He would turn every mage in Thedas into a drooling simpleton under his command. Ah, I'll see what I can do. Though this Sir Ulrich would be a fool to keep such a plan in writing. Then let us pray he's a fool as well as a bastard. I'm ready to go when you are. Our entrance is concealed not far from here. Ah. <sighs> Well, time, 
Time to go to the hangman, I guess. I'm going to need a drink after this, aren't I? I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? Baby animals are cute. Ships, not so much. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. Yes, all right. Maybe. Yeah. Hawk, I've got some news. You might not want to be near anything breakable when I tell you, though. Why don't I buy you a pint and we'll talk? You just keep making this harder. Although I won't say no to a pint if you're buying. I've had an ear out for Bartrand. After the deep roads, he ran to Ravain, probably because he knew I couldn't track him. But I hear he might be back in Kirkwall. He called in loans from a few of his contacts in Hightown. Okay, you know where he is? Was he staying in Hightown or just passing through? If my information is good, and it's always good. He has a house there. Which gives us a good shot at having a word with my dear sweet brother. Sure it's him? Would Bartrand really risk coming back here? I think we both know by now that Bartrand would risk anything for money. There's a much better market here for that trinket he stole. And all his contacts are in Kirkwall. How are you holding up, Varric? Me? My no account backstabbing brother is practically in arm's reach. I couldn't be better. Well then really missed Bartrand. We've got a lot of catching up to do. I agree. Bianca's been missing him something awful. Let's stop by his new house. Welcome him back to the neighborhood and all that. Face it, you don't pay me enough to stay sober at work. You're coming with me. I... You go first. I'll be right there. Just don't tell him this is about me. <sighs> nice place. There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change. Apparently. Right. Look... <laughs> I should really, um... What? No. Sit. Drink. <sighs> Another round. Make a yes. Why am I here flirting with a guardsman? So, Aveline is great. Look, if this was all a plan for you to get closer to the captain, maybe you should just talk to her. I mean, how sad would it be if you needed a go between? Have some backbone. I have to go. Thanks for the drinks. <sighs> I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I arranged this to get to you. I'm an idiot. Right now! Admitting it is a good step. Where are you heading next? The barracks, Ferelden, the deepest hole I can find. 
You've never been the hiding type. I know, all right, but I freeze up. The only place I'm not a mess is on patrol. And killing highwaymen doesn't afford much opportunity for banter. Here come the excuses. I will not risk. That's the problem. Risk, or so help me, I will bed the man myself. I think that pretty much forces the issue. But I can't fight and talk. I'll clear the way, and you can see if he's the one. You're too good at this. Is it any wonder you've all but taken Hightown? You clear the route up the wounded coast, and I... will think of something to say. Okay, I'm going to go take care of puppies. Um, I think I'm going to continue with these companion quests, and then I'll be done with that. So, I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, see you on the flip side. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Dogs wanted to eat and go potty, so. I want to take care of them. Okay, I was going to do Anders' quest next. Okay. Back to Anders. Oh, I went to my AC off now. It's getting a little warm in the room with the uh, um, stream running. I kind of figure it's down here. No, I really don't like Dark Town. Do not tell anyone about this way into the gallows. It's a secret that has saved the lives of hundreds of mages. This is it. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. I'm going to be eating too, so I'm just going to mute myself while we play. Let's go. I have personally led five mages to freedom through these tunnels. They bent to kiss the ground through the sewage.
Lyrium smugglers built these tunnels to serve the Templars who crave the stuff. I don't like the looks of this. Excuse me for a second to hear a uh, grown-up dog whining. Be back in uh, one moment. Still trying to get some food in my stomach. Mute myself again so I can finish eating while playing.
Okay, I'm going to talk through this part. I have to get all my loot. I think I'm nearing the exit. Yeah, I am. No, please. I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to mages who lie? I just wanted to see my mom. No one ever told her where they were taking me. No. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't toe the line around here, don't you? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil. I'll do anything. That's right. Once you're tranquil, you'll do anything I ask. The Chantry frowns on Templars who take personal advantage of their charges. Who's this? It's the Divine. Come all the way from Orlay to tell you personally what a jackass you are. Yeah, I said I am the Divine. Fiends will never touch a mage again. Oh, great justice. Um, dude, calm down. It's over, Anders. They're all dead. Every one of them will feel justice's burn. Get away from me, demon. I am no demon. Are you one of them that you would call me such? Anders. Anders, that girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is dead. Can feel their hold on her. She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please, Mister. Anders. Run. Baker, no. I almost. If you weren't here, I. I need to get out of here. <sighs> to her excellency, I got. I don't have a new voice. To her excellency, divine Justinia, I am well aware both you and Knight Commander Meredith have rejected my proposal, but I beg you to reconsider. The mages and the free marchers are past controlling. Their numbers have doubled in three years, and they have found a way to plant their abominations in our ranks. They cannot be contained. The tranquil solution is our only answer. All mages at the age of majority must be made tranquil. They'll coexist peacefully, retain their usefulness. A perfect strategy. It's simply the best way to ensure mages obey the laws of men and maker. I remain, as always, your obedient servant, Sir Otto Alrake. Otto. His name is Otto. Okay. Let's get out of here.
Yeah. You... you saved my life, Monsieur. What was that thing? Um... The circle to scare you away from ever summoning demons. I, I wouldn't. I never. It was a joke. Can I go home now? Just get someplace safe, man. Find your parents, but don't stay there. You must leave Kirkwall. I know. There's nowhere in the city where Sir Ulrich's men won't find you. Thank you, Monsieur. Andraste herself must have put you in that room. Trash, trash, keep, trash, trash, won't be needing that anymore. This is all Sir Ulrich had. Looks like the tranquil solution began and ended with him. Let me see that. The Divine rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was not what I expected. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you've said. Man, I didn't realize how hungry I was until I got up to feed the puppies. Then I got like, oh, I'm hungry. Bartrand really hasn't done much with this place, has he? I don't get it. My sources saw people making deliveries here just a week ago. This looks like it's been empty for months. I think he put the cobwebs up to discourage tax collectors. Well, you're thinking it's a trap. <laughs> Great. It's been ages since my brother tried to kill me. All right, here we go.
I don't think this is really happening. So that's how you greet your brother, is it, Bartrand? Fine. Say hello, Bianca. Fast one I want. Well, he's not here right now, so... Yeah, I don't think this is how this went down. Please forgive me, my brother. I was just jealous of you. How could I ever compete with you for mother's love? You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. I don't think you believe that. Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? What do you want from me? I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You want the gory details? I'll give you the gory details. I think I've been here before. These corpses aren't even stiff yet, Hawk. Somebody's been in here today. What did my brother do to these men? They were completely out of their heads. Gave them brandy? Found Brandy on one of the corpses.
Uh-huh. I did most of the work, Isabella. I did most of the work. The big ones. That takes care of most of them. Okay, I'm unmuted, right? Okay. Sorry, I wanted to finish eating. Eating is very important, you know. I don't like the looks of this. That should do it. I won't say no to that. If you want to do it to somebody else. Rogues got this. Oh, yes. All these crazed guards. Bartram, what have you done? All set. Okay, let's uh, be careful here. Watch your step.
How many guards do you have, Bartrand? I think they got it. Oh, that's good. Hi, Stuart. What happened? Oh, you again? I thought your name was Stuart. Your brother. That statue he brought out of the deep robes. Bartrand said it sang to him even after he sold it. I'd been hiding in here with the guards. They're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. Okay, so. Other servants. I haven't seen anyone alive in here except for guards. What happened to and you? I don't know what Bartrand did to them. By the ancestors. The sound's coming from his study. Doesn't sound good. They're dead by now. I hope. What do you mean you hope they're dead? Just whoever. What did he do to the guard to turn them to this? He's been forcing them to eat lyrium. Some of the servants, he cut pieces off them while they were still alive. He says he's trying to help them hear the song. Please stop him. Bartrand's not exactly a nice guy, but this doesn't sound like my brother. You said he sold the statue. To who? I don't know. That's why we came back to Kirkwall. He was already starting to rant about the sodding idol and his singing. On his better days, he hated the thing, wanted to get rid of it. But the minute it was gone, it got worse. I assume you mean he's crazy, not just very upset. He's hearing things, seeing things, talking to someone who's not there. That's when he's feeling good. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And no sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, Bartrand, Bartrand, Bartrand. What have you done, Bartrand? More crazy guards.
Yeah, focus on me, Bartrand. No, that's not good. I know I shouldn't have sold the idol on that woman. It was a mistake. Mistake. Partridge, get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Murphy, you'll help me, won't you, little brother? No. Help me find it again. You were always the good one. Help you, Partridge. You left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? You've already beaten him. Don't lose your head. I just... I want to know why. Why'd you do it, Bartrand? Were you already crazy before we even went into the deep roads? Or was it all the statue? I don't statue it wants to be worth it wants me it wants me back she stole it from me but yes uh who who did you sell the idol to bartrand she glittered like the sun but her heart was ice she will not beat me not like i did bartrand was a bastard when he sealed us in the deep roads but he wasn't a madman bloody ancestors why bring me this close and still nothing? For three years, all I've wanted is to look him in the eye and get his answers. Why he abandoned us in that tyke. What any of this was for. I guess there's nothing he could say that would make it right. Um, You know what? I haven't done... Look at him. There's nothing you can do to him worse than this. No. I've been counting the days until I could put a bolt in his conniving little brain. It's not just us. Look what he did out there. How many more people will die for his folly? I'll let Eric do it then. He's clearly past saving. Make it clean. I wish I could have done it before I had to see you like this. Goodbye. I don't feel too bad about that. Come on. I don't want to look at this place anymore. Ugh. Yeah, let's get out of here. We still got dates to help out with. Something on your mind, Varric. And I should thank you for your help with my brother. He was a jackass, and he tried to kill us, but that was still the hardest thing I've ever done. He was never what you'd call nice, or pleasant, or hygienic. Yeah, I could, I could smell him from here. He was obviously suffering. You spared him a lot of misery. I hope you're right. I don't know if surface dwarves go back to the stone, or hang around singing hymns with Andraste, or what. I just hope wherever he is now, Bartran stays out of trouble. Any idea what really went on with him and that statue? I don't want to know. The thing must be cursed. I don't know if it's magic or demons or the bile of the ancestors, but I think curse about covers it. Yeah. If we're lucky, whoever he sold it to had the damn thing melted down for scrap. If you're worried about it, we could ask one of the priests to pray for him. I'm pretty sure any decent priest who prays for Bartrand would burst into flames. But that's awful. <laughs> I had no idea priests had to Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Daisy. Okay, I didn't know that would happen. Water on hand. Anyway, thank you. Mm. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, 
They need to be warned about what happened. I did not. Okay, I've never done that before. I'm kind of glad I did with Meryl around. Okay. Let's get out of here. Why am I taking the long way? Once I'm done with this, we'll be good. I'm sorry about your brother, Varric. Have you any other family? I have family like a rat has fleas, Davy. Does that mean you have a lot of family? Or that they make you itch a lot? Both. Do I have to have... Do I have to have Aveline with me for this? Possibly. Ah. Some wild Mabari. I'm not bringing my dog out yet. Hey, don't attack my dwarf. Oh, yes. Well, at least it was just a pack of wild dogs. So, this route's pretty quiet? Yes, and it's a real nice night for an evening. Um... <laughs> As you say, Captain. <laughs> yes, as I say. Maker, she's bad at this. I wonder how she got married in the first place. Hi, boyos. <clears throat> I know you two are also a pack of wild dogs. Very wild and woolly and rambunctious. Mainly rambunctious. Must have gotten some Ferelden says or um raiders.
Who in sync? If it isn't done right, the blade can be too soft. Quenching the steel is a vital step that can make or break a sword. Right. A blade for every purpose. What do you think about blades? I'm sorry, Captain. I drifted off a bit. Right. Of course. Ah. Uh, painful. How did she even? She must have made the first move. But back then, she was a soldier, and he was just a you know, or you know, he he was a Templar, and she was a soldier. Watch your step. All set. At least this is a good light one to end the trap. Okay, boys. Literally just out of nowhere, huh? Raiders, slavers, wild dog packs. I'm waiting for some more Talva shots. Well, Guardsman, good patrol. I think we're done, and I. Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. We don't have all night, you know. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You're a daft. Oh, take a hint and bend her over a basin, will you? Captain? Uh. I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. Friends sometimes push. I... I have to fix this. He'll file a complaint. Ask for a transfer. You, you're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Double time, Hawk, or so help me. She's thick. But uh, I better get going. She said double time.
So I have to do it in double time. Before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. You're their captain, not a golem. They expect you to have feelings. Not if they get in the way of the job. You don't know that. I won't be that stupid again. <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk. But I need a moment with the captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. <laughs> oh my Okay, final quests. Aveline. Guardsman Donick did not file a complaint. That's this good. It was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. I think you can safely claim both halves of that pair. You're sweet. 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 you Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just knock first. Okay. I'm here with my little quest and beliefs. Knock all these companion quests out. This fine suit. The finest. Break it down. Distribute it. The Viscount requires parade armor for his inspections. Then stuff it and mount it where he can see it. I wear the uniform of the guard. His Excellency will not be pleased. His Excellency can mount it. No. Trouble, Hawk? No, not really. You say that like you expect it. You don't know the half of it. And why don't you, by the way? Why aren't you tail deep in the problems of this city? Who says I'm not? Oh, you do good. But petition a title. Take a job. The guard is always looking. That's a bit harsh, given my record. Maybe I'm just sick of being the first stop for complaints about people like you. People like me? Brands on about fortune hunters, mercenaries, disreputable professions without purpose. He's a clod. But sometimes, Isla might be good if the city was a little more stable. Oh, you'd be poor if you know Come on now. You really prefer the troublemakers stay home? All right. So maybe I don't want to be completely put out of business. And I don't even really mean you. But some people, they go on without regard and then act surprised when someone starts a circle. There are warning signs, you know. It's worth saying. Okay, next.
Merrill's. You know what? I'm going to finish the ones in town. Then I'll do Merrill's. I'm not going to do any main quests. Or any more main quests. I'm just going to finish this. And then I'll be done. What was Lemeria? I've never heard of a Danish who's been there. I don't imagine your people travel between islands much. Not really, no. I wouldn't start waterproofing your wagons then. I don't think Lemarin is ready for the Dalish. What do you mean? Would we upset the people there? It's not the kind of place where one turns down a tumble. Even refuse a fortune teller and they'd run your lot out of town. You have got to hear this, Hawk. Hear what? There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. That all? Don't the stories mention my stunning good look? What about my cunning wit? Nope. They skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. I try to steer them straight, but you know how stories go. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. So why am I always here? Make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours. There's a recipe to a good hero. It's like alchemy. One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. And I find it hard to believe you're spreading these stories without getting something in return. Well, that just shows what you know, Hawk. The stories are their own reward. You really need to see the look on someone's face when I tell them you ripped the arms off in Folger. <laughs> Just once. What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? Hey, they're not ridiculous. They're awesome. The sound of my own voice. And I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You may not be my best dressed or cleanest friend, Master Hawk. Hey, I take a bath once a month. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. Okay. Let's go talk to Meryl. Actually... Off to Dark Town. Oh, and then Merrill's, and then we're done. I just saved uh, Aveline's for last. Oh well. Might have ended on something a little darker. having a cat around but I think the refugees have scared them all off or maybe eaten them you know I've been meaning to thank you you don't need to stick your neck out for the mages here but you have one day we'll make a world where your sister can be free again nope mages cannot be treated as guilty just by association I can't tell you how reassuring that is. Sometimes, you're the only reason I don't think I'm crazy. No, you're crazy. When you still believed in me after I almost killed that poor girl, I knew you meant it. You wouldn't say it just to make me feel better. 
You make me think I can really do this. Lead a revolution. I didn't realize you were planning anything that big. No small change would address the injustice that mages face. The Chantry itself must be overturned. There will always be mages born in Thedas. But Templars are made by men. And they can be unmade. Why does this matter so much to you? You saw Sir Auric's plan. How many Templars would prefer that every mage was a mindless, drooling babe? In the circle, they tell you day and night that magic is sin. A mark on your soul of the Maker's hatred. Uh -huh. But for all the talk of demons, the most common death I saw for a mage was suicide. Why do none of my friends ever just want to be the best wallop player in Lowtown? <laughs> with the great hawk deign to associate with the best wallop player in Lowtown. Well, you had to be my uncle first. Seriously, though, I couldn't do this without your support. I couldn't hold on to this spirit of vengeance inside me. But I know you won't let me lose myself to him. As long as you don't think I'm flirting with you, I'm good. Okay. One more quest. One more. And I'm taking Meryl to it. Meryl, we're doing the quest together. How do you suppose the Quinari scratch their heads with those horns in the way? Why do you think I would know? Because you know lots of things. I wonder if they rub their heads against tree trunks like Hallow did. I'd pay a sovereign to see that. No wonder they seem so cranky all the time. How do they scratch an itch? My desk can pull it. You return to us, darling. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I go on. I'm with you. Thank you, Hawk. Keeper, I need the Aruin home, the ancient carving blade that Master Iron keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvia. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking via Sula Varnan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. Okay, uh, sir. What did Merrill invoke? Our history belongs to all Dalish child. So our clan's most cherished relics can be claimed by everyone. Any Dalish can perform a service for the clan and gain ownership of such an item. For a time. That is what Merrill has invoked. Even if she has chosen to live apart, she is still one of the people. And what's this, uh... What exactly is this thing we're asking for? It is an ancient carving tool, used by our wood shapers, passed down for countless generations. Our clan has carried it since before the fall of the days. It is as old as Arlathan itself. Well, uh, thank you. We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Meryl. I'm glad that Meryl has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. And that's what we are for. Take care of myself, Keeper. Yes, Dalen. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Mm. Seek it out, slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us, and I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. 
Okay. I think it's this way. The cave must be near camp. The keeper would just warn the hunters away otherwise. I'm seeing dogs with me. Loot the bodies of the bodies. Oh, I was just thinking about Inquisition. Thundermount. Must have been a massive rift here. You know, no matter what, Thundermount's already thin. Same with the Bone Pit. The veil is all wobbly there. Spiders! I don't need you to, um, roughhousing outside the kennel right now, guys. Sorry, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Okay, that did not work. I was hoping I could do that with a pause, but I guess not. Because that was cool. sent them to their deaths no normally they let the dailies come and go as they please something must have provoked it i bet it was meryl <clears throat> probably meryl's fault somehow Okay. Way too many spiders. It was probably these spiders that woke it up. It probably threw like a wild raging party. You 
You get him, Gwen. John Don tread carefully, Lethaly. May the trickster never find you. Whoever's hiding had better come out. Unless you're a dragon, then feel free to keep hiding. Hello, praise and breath. I mean, the creators. I thought I'd never get out of. Meryl? And if there are, Paul, are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. No. Stay back. Don't touch me. <coughs> Be calm, Paul. We'll help you get back to the camp. You don't know what she is, what she's done. Creators, help me. Someone, please. Paul, no. We have to catch him. Hurry. Any loot? I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. To, okay. I would hurry if people would get out of my way. I'm going to focus on this thing. I'm going to focus on this thing. Okay, everybody's out. <clears throat> Health still doing okay? Sorry, puppies. More afraid of me than of our peril. Paul wasn't like the others. He was city born, worldly. He ran away from the Denarum and found us. 
I thought if anyone would understand me, that this something is very wrong. I want to see the keeper. We will. I miss him. He was. I remember seeing him in the clan when um he, he started off with the Dalish origin, practicing with his bow and arrow. Because this is the uh, um, Dalish origin clan. I'm gonna feel bad for Paul. Because at the time of the, the, the blight, he'd only recently run from the dinner room. Paul, what was he thinking? He acted like I was a monster. Don't blame yourself, Kitty. Sometimes men do senseless things. Sometimes people do senseless things. Not just men. There's one last hunter. I'm gonna find that last hunter. I just want to get out of here. Okay, I gotta find that last hunter. That last hunter. I am tired of skeletons. Okay. I'm 
many corpses are there? Ugh. Veil is too thin. So do I. That'll be your staff at Merrill. Yeah, I've been over here. <sighs> oh, Merrill, 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 Merrill. He was waiting for us out, outside the, the, ca the cave. <laughs> Were you listening to that guy in the hanged man last night? Your eyes are like bumblebees flying into the window of my soul. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was your lips are like the wings of sparrows, red ones with no feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, speak and send the plucked wings of your lips soaring. <laughs> I'd buy the guy a drink, but I don't think he needs one. Yeah, mail's processing. Keeper. The Varteral is dead. Master Ranus. I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Vatero. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dale. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There's no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Alluvian is poison. It killed Tamlin. It stole Mahariel. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you are? Good point. And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin Hawk. Hawk. Because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the Creative. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. <sighs> so, your blood magic. What did the keeper mean the mirror led you to blood magic? I. The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a. spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. Uh huh. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. Is it worth restoring this mirror if it turns your clan against you? You know what it's like to lose everything, Hawk. Not just our land and freedom, but history, story, language, magic, rituals. Even our gods are gone. It was a sacrifice. But if the mirror restores even one fragment of the past, it's worth it. 
Well then, here you go. Take the knife. Just try not to cut yourself with it. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. Okay, questioning beliefs is the last one. Okay, and these are both Meryl, so. I'll try. I have no reason to go up Thunder Mount right now, but maybe later. After this is over. Not the best quest to... Well, we'll finish up these companion quests. never have faced the Keeper myself. I never imagined a human would help me restore Dalish history. I'm not a human. No Look at my ears. Good. Not the Keeper. Not my clan. Just you. When the Alluvian is finished, they'll appreciate all you've done for them. No, they won't. Right. Even if they hate me forever, I'll know I helped them. You're the first real friend I've ever had. Master Anna's left the leaf. Oh, Hawk. Come in. I... I was already here. Am I crazy? Yes. Yes, but in a good way. I thought the rule in the home would fix everything. The mirror would work and everything would be right again. But I keep dreaming of Paul's face. Everyone that I care for thinks I'm a monster. What happened in that cave wasn't your fault. Paul did that to himself. I know. But I caused it, or the clan did. Filling his head with terrible stories about me. You're a true friend, Hawk. Someday I'll make this up to you, Lethaly. Okay. Very clearly in this place. Okay, that is where I am going to end it for the week because I know a couple, at least one of the quests coming up is very dark and I don't really want to think, I don't think I can really do that. So... I just don't want to deal with the Elven Slayer. Make his breath, I hope you know what you're doing. I don't want to deal with what I know is coming, so this is where I am going to um end it. I will see you on Thursday with some Pokemon Violet. And um I'm gonna do some Sims over the weekend. So I'll be playing this again in a week. Until then. Um, see, uh, same alien time, same alien, well, not same alien time, because I'll be at two, because of dog appointment, but, um, I'll be here, so, see you on the flip side, bye! <laughs>